Hey Sagittarius, let's have a look at what messages are going to show up for you. This is your readings. In case this reading resonates with you, there will be a link in the description box to the extended. Okay, so let's have a look at the messages that want to show up for you, Sagittarius. Sagittarius, there's something here about you um, learning lessons through a relationship in your life. I don't know, like, um, there was a relationship here that made you actually lower your standards and you regretted it instantly. You don't have to change yourself to let somebody in your life, you know? Um, right now, this is about partnerships, expansion in your life. I see you growing and evolving in your life, but at times when we are in that phase, we can also attract people who are jealous of us or who just, who just don't want us to do good, you know? So be very careful with who you're attracting in your life, who you are allowing in your life as well, okay? And... You know, seventh house, as much as it is about partnerships, it's also about enemies, okay? You're trying to have an idealistic approach towards things you want to achieve in your life. It's, it's almost like you don't want to be in that la-la land anymore, okay? Don't you? But you're having a hard time sticking to routine. Some of you may be getting, uh, you may be getting lazy. Target, a goal-oriented person, see? So right now what's going to help you is to stay goal-oriented, is to uh, be clear with your intentions, why you're wanting what you're wanting, okay? coins money is going to be coming to you so money is not oh thrown Bre a period of prosperity <laughs> your cards are amazing amazing i was wondering why we don't have any cards that are flying out for you just yet it was because i was supposed to shuffle for you so we have here someone you know is undependable and insincere so you need to be careful with like i said because i was picking up on seventh house energy but when we're doing good we tend to also attract people you know and their vibe is off so i would suggest you be careful with who you're attracting in your life who you're allowing in your life okay um there is somebody here who you shouldn't be trusting much with, okay? Period of prosperity and abundance. When I say this, Sagittarius, I am telling you that you are in a very great time period in your life. And, you know, um, man... We have here position of authority. Some of you could have your own business, okay? Or you could be promoted at your business. There's something here about royalty, like, and you're the kind of a person, like, I feel like you're somebody here who likes to work for yourself. You don't like to listen to people too much. Or have a boss, you know, because you like your own freedom. We do have Sagittarius full moon coming up. This is a great time to release. Okay. And your planetary ruler is Jupiter which is also associated with Pisces. Um, but it is transiting 
um, in the sign of Taurus. So this um, full moon is about um, our sense of value, sense of self-worth, okay? Jupiter in Taurus is about wealth, is about manifesting, it's about leisure, it's about comfortable environment as well, okay? So this is a time for you, Sagittarius, to find out what is something you need to release, what is something you need to work towards, where in your life you need to be mo more clear with your goals, because that's that's what's going to bring you money but don't depend on people don't depend on people or don't trust people too much look at this coins so you have money coming your way Sagittarius left right and center <laughs> okay it's it's almost like an energy of you getting lucky with something show me what I need to see for Sagittarius again couple of aces here already ace of pentacles ace of swords I think here there has been something on your mind and you you kind of feel like you've been running in circles when it comes to this idea or something you want to manifest maybe it's about a person you know but with the three of swords whatever you're doing wherever you're going in your life it's stemming from a heavy energy so maybe some of you feel feel betrayed by a person or felt betrayed by a person this person could be Aries Leo Sagittarius your challenge and advice here have something to do with finding the self-confidence to do what you really want to do it's like you know that ace of swords and the ace of pentacles is giving me a vibe of calculating risks when it comes to taking action towards something or it's like weighing the pros and pros and cons of a situation ace of pentacles ace of swords is beautiful energy this is new start goals um, also finding inspiration to create and what not this is great energy we have here pages so it's learning expansion new beginnings nine of cups eight of cups i love it for you i love it sagittarius you're freeing yourself from some sort of pain you're letting go of what no longer serves you and you're opening yourself up to new beginnings. Isn't that amazing? So learning, expanding, that's the energy for you. Closing a cycle, especially some if something was really painful, that needs to go. Some of you also need to realize that there's a certain person or just some somebody here is not worth your energy. You're surrounded by so much abundance that you should not really be paying attention to the negative right now, honestly. Nine of Cups reverse, Nine of Cups reverse. Some of you got codependent on a person, Two of Cups reverse. Yeah, there's a major disconnect between you and somebody, Sagittarius. I also feel like this person made you feel unwelcomed in their energy or there was a very like unfulfilling relationship something that was seeming one-sided or very emotionally draining very taxing so that three of swords is also an it, you know it doesn't always have to be that somebody broke our heart sometimes it's about emotionally taxing situations what is the advice for Sagittarius page of Pentacles page of Pentacles is action oriented energy some of you need to walk away from from a person who's inconsistent okay there is somebody here who's not consistent or like whenever you need them they don't show up so what's the point of them being in your life if they are like this you know what's the point nine of pentacles is telling you that you're better off alone you don't need to entertain this energy or this person 
at all actually okay eight of cups emotionally withdrawing nine of pentacles finding your independence balance i love your reading so much it is one of the best readings actually actually a lot of signs have, have gotten really good readings for this month so that's nice but this is really good too i like it claim this reading hit the like button sagittarius five of swords just when i said the reading is looking good comes the five of swords um okay if there is somebody or something in your life that's stressing you out sagittarius really ask yourself is it worth stressing over and i can tell you that the answer is gonna be no it's not so it's your choice it's your choice High priestess trusting your intuition you may want to check out Pisces reading okay healing family issues your love life benefits as you forgive your parent parents so the message for you here Sagittarius is to keep it moving but also be aware of the issues that need healing okay there are things at times we tend to avoid or we tend to brush under the rug but there is something here that um, you know it does need your attention bedding some of you were in a relationship with somebody like relationship relationship and you didn't feel appreciated in that relationship marriage could be involved in the situation that you're in or it could be something in the past some of you grew up in a toxic environment maybe and the way your parents were it it impacted you of course in a negative way Let's see great and full number four is here see this is reminding me of the ace of cups actually the mindful practice of gratitude knowing that you're enough committing to your intentions and a sense of feeling sufficient letting go of attachment to form you're invited to surrender to an important truth there's always enough for you there's enough time to do things you need and desire to do enough opportunities to express your talents and connect to your purpose and enough magic circulating through the invisible world into the visible begin your day immersed in gratitude for everything you have and everything you cannot yet see um, know that you're enough and all your needs are being fulfilled even if you doubt this in some moments no one's success can make you feel small and comparing yourself to others is not going to work when you hold this feeling of gratitude it acts as a magical doorway to floodgates of abundance right now contemplate how being in the energy of enough is going to make you feel eventually you will have no attachment to what you do or do not manifest in the material world what you do or do not have then like magic you have more than enough what a fascinating universe we live in so that's about it sagittarius those were the messages that showed up for you give this video a like and subscribe to my channel and check out the extended link in the description box below if you are interested take care and bye, -bye.